a week from this Wednesday, August 3rd, at uh, Fresno High. Uh, this is a, a beginning of a series of conversations uh, and a journey to bring our community together, uh, to heal our community. Uh, we are a very culturally, culturally rich community, very diverse, and uh, we want to make sure that we all come together, to discuss any, any, any issues that we've had, and uh, release and reduce the tension in the community. The message to all of our community, to include our faith leaders, is we have to come together and be united and quit pointing the finger at one another and trying to blame one another, blaming uh, members of the community, blaming law enforcement. There's solutions out there, but those solutions are addressing problems that are deep-rooted in our community and in society in general. Uh, the, the police have become all things to all people. It's very important that not only the public and civil groups are there, but that institutions that are faith-based. The Diocese of Fresno has a tremendous commitment not only to the city of Fresno, but to the county and the whole valley. There are so many people here suffering because of the violence, because of the injustice, and because of the needs that are not being addressed. We as church, we as people of faith, want to be there to celebrate our unity as a community. If we believe that the community needs help, we must do something to heal the community. The community is hurting, not only in Fresno, but throughout the valley, and throughout the country, and throughout the world. It's open to everybody, it's open to every community, uh, and it's going to be a beautiful uh, expose and, and mosaic of religious leaders, social justice leaders, educators standing up and declaring all together that we're unified and we're for social justice. We are a nation that is governed by laws which protect our democracy. We're also a nation founded on the principle of respect for human dignity. Please join us on August 3rd.